Welcome back to a brand new video and welcome to my channel if you are new I'm Anna Elaine and a very warm welcome to you. Today I'm doing a tutorial for this makeup look here. This is a chocolate kind of Easter inspired tutorial. I've used lots of nice matte browns on the eyes and then as you can tell this lip colour is just very much the feature. Now this video is actually in collaboration with three of my best friends. They're all YouTubers, obviously, if they're making videos. <laughs> they're my YouTube friends, but they're also my like some of my just closest girlfriends and I love them to pieces. So I'm talking about Rachel from Rachel Lee A and Crystal from Crystal Conti and Shanae from Shanae Boston Jollo. So please go and check out their channels and their videos. I'll have everything linked in the down bar. They're amazing, amazing people and they're just they make amazing content as well as just being such cool people. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start out with um, a base. I'm going to use my Nivea aftershave, post-shave, balm thingy. I actually decanted it into a little Muji bottle, which is why it looks like this. It's just a lot easier to use because you can just pump out the amount that you need. And this is just going to help my makeup last all day and just give it something to stick to as well. For foundation today, I'm going in with my new favourites, the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in Ivory Light. This is such a full coverage foundation, so it's perfect if you're doing quite a dramatic look and you want your skin to look flawless. All you need to do is pop a couple of little drops around your face and then buff it in, and I'm using my EXO Beauty Round Face Brush to apply this. It's a fantastic brush to buff this foundation in with. Now I'm just going to set my face with my Guerlain Meteorites, and these are just really beautiful light reflecting kind of pearls. I don't want my skin to look super matte and this foundation is already quite matte so that's why I'm going with a really glowy powder just to set this. For my contour today I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Blonde Eyeshadow which is my favourite contouring product. This is such a lovely light kind of taupey shade so it's really perfect for imitating a natural shadow. And then for bronzer it wouldn't be a chocolate Easter tutorial without using my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So I'm just applying this using this Furless Cosmetics brush and just kind of, you're sort of blending out my contour with this product and it just warms up my complexion really nicely. For cheeks today I really wanted to go with a nice pop of peach because I'm doing chocolate colours on the lips and the eyes and I think this will contrast really beautifully. So I'm using Benefit's Coralista, which is one of my favourite peach blushes. It's scented so it's really beautiful. Um, and it just really works with my complexion. So if you're super pale like me, you'll love this blush. You want to use quite a light hand and just kind of build it up. This just adds a really nice healthy glow that's super subtle. And then for my highlight today, I also want to go quite glowy but not anything too glittery. So I've chosen my Hourglass Ambient Strobing Powder in Incandescent Light. And this creates the most beautiful sheen to the skin that picks up really well on pale skin, so if you feel like me, you'll love this product. Um, and it also just doesn't look too glittery. Some highlights can just look a little bit too chunky, but too glittery. This one is super subtle, quite a decent highlight on the Cupid's bow, and then just popping it everywhere else. Because this one is more of just a glowy powder rather than glitter, you can kind of get away with like dousing your whole face in it. <laughs> Moving on to brows, I'm just going to give them a little brush through first. And I'm going to start out with my e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in Ash, which is my favourite little eyebrow product of the moment. It just really suits my hair colour. Just using a little um, Sedona Lace eyebrow brush to apply this. It's like a really great size. It's quite small, so you can get quite an accurate shape with it. And just to define the outer half of my brow, I'm just going to use a bit of my Bobbi Brown Mahogany eyeshadow. And I just apply a tiny bit of this to the outer tail of the brow. Then I'm just going to set all that with my Savvy Clear Brow Gel. Now for eyes today, I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which is super fitting for Easter time. So I'm going to start off by putting this cream matte shade all over the lid, just to give my shadows sort of something to blend into. 
basically like my skin color. <laughs> now you want to take a big fluffy brush and I'm just going to go in with this sort of peachy brown shade. It's a matte color here. And I'm just gonna apply this all into the crease to really warm it up. It's gonna act as my transition shade. Now I'm gonna take this slightly cooler toned and slightly darker brown here. It's still kind of a nice light to medium brown. And again, it's matte and I'm just running this with a slightly smaller brush into the crease. We're basically just gonna keep layering up brown matte shades. Um, that's kind of the technique for today. <laughs> it's very simple. Now with an even smaller fluffy brush, I'm going to take this medium matte brown here in the middle and just apply this onto the outer third of the eye. Just in like little circular motions, you basically just tilt your eye, or tilt your head back so you can like look into a mirror downwards and then just rotate the brush around and around and around. Just builds up the color beautifully on the outer third. Now I'm going to take this really teeny tiny fluffy brush in the darkest brown in the palette, which is this dark matte brown in the corner, and just layer that on top as well to deepen it out further. I'm just going to pack a little bit more of this matte color onto the inner corner or inner half of the eye, just to really like sort of brighten it a little bit more. It tends to get a little bit muddy as you blend. I'm also going to take a little bit of my hourglass highlighter and just pop that onto the inner corner because this is a really subtle way to bring a lot of light into your inner corner. Rather than using a really shimmery eyeshadow, just use your cheek highlighter. I'm just going to run a tiny bit of liquid liner on my upper lash line. I'm not going to do a wing today because I'm going to apply false lashes which will give my eye quite a bit of lift. Also with the kind of eyeshadow technique I've done, you don't really need the wing to kind of extend the eye. Now I'm just going to pop on some mascara and some false lashes. I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and these false lashes which are the Romantic by EXO Beauty. Just putting the mascara on my top lash line first and we'll worry about my lower lash line in a second. Now I'm just going to line my waterline, my lower waterline with the Chi Chi Eye Brightener. Mine's like nearly run out. Then I'm just going to take this medium light to medium matte brown shade that we used earlier and just sort of run it with a pencil brush on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take the light sort of peachy shade and this small fluffy brush and just run it, smoke that out a bit as well. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara to my lower lashes. I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Wings Waterproof. The waterproof formula just stops it from transferring under my eye, which I find is really annoying and happens throughout the day. So if you want to avoid that, you can use waterproof mascara under the, on the lower lash line. And then for lips today, I'm going to go in with a chocolate brown. I'm using Colourpop's Limbo. However, if you wanted to do a nude with this look for a more subtle version, then that would look really nice. You could even use like a nice dark red, I guess representative of the blood of Christ, <laughs> seeing as it's Easter. Um, but I'm going to go with chocolate today because I really wanted to do a full chocolate look. So that's it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. If you did find it helpful in any way, then please help me out by giving this video a like and leaving a comment below. I'd love to read about what you thought of my uh, tutorial today and leave any new video requests down below as well. I always enjoy getting some requests. If you want to follow me on my social media, it's all linked below as well. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful few days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.